Hi guys, uh, I hope everyone is fine and uh, I'm back again with uh, another video. This time around I'm looking at a 2016 uh, grade 12 internal uh, past paper uh, section section C, question 3, which is basically on nitric acid. And uh, in my previous video I was uh, I looked at uh, the Ostwald process, which is basically nitric acid so after talking about that i thought i should pick up this question as uh, something which would link what we, uh, we talked about or what i talked about in the previous video uh, before i go f any further let me just request that you subscribe to my youtube channel and press the bell button so that each time i post a new video you will be the first person to be notified and receive and watch the video so let's get started. Here is a question, the first question, which is question 3A says, nitric, uh, which is uh, the question first read, nitric acid is an important acid in everyday life. Question A, name the commercial process used in the preparation of nitric acid. And so when we look at that from my previous video, you will discover that the process by which nitric acid is uh, prepared or commercially manufactured is the Ostwald process. So this is the answer, Ostwald process. And then we move on to question uh, B. Question B reads, question B reads, state the catalyst used during the commercial preparation of nitric acid. One mark allocated to that question. And remember in the previous video we said that the uh, catalyst that is used is platinum rhodium and this is basically an alloy uh, this is an alloy of platinum and rhodium and this is the catalyst used we move on forward to question uh, to question uh, c question c says the equation below shows the initial stage in the industrial preparation of nitric acid. Uh, and uh, the question now says copy and balance the equation. And so uh, that, question, that equation says ammonia plus oxygen to give us some uh, nitrogen monoxide and water. So here's the equation. And remember that uh, the, in, uh, in the previous video we said that this process or this stage is called ammonia oxidation and I must also add that this is also referred to as catalytic oxidation of ammonia and so in balancing the equation remember I said that you just say 45 46 the equation is completely balanced this is a balanced chemical equation we move on to question D question D reads the nitrogen monoxide produced this nitrogen monoxide produced yes the nitrogen monoxide produced uh, uh, e, uh, well, yes produced as shown by the equation in C above this one reacts with oxygen to give nitrogen dioxide construct a balanced chemical equation so here we are from the nitrogen monoxide that has been produced in the reaction we now have to write the equation which involves the conversion of nitrogen monoxide to nitrogen dioxide and the equation is basically written as follows this is the equation which is nitrogen monoxide plus oxygen to give us nitrogen dioxide and remember this is the oxidation of nitrogen monoxide and to balance the equation we put a two here and a two there, the equation is completely balanced. We move on to question uh, three, three E. The question three E reads and says that, uh, how is nitrogen dioxide, the one that has been produced, this nitrogen dioxide which has been produced, this one, how is it, converted to nitri nitric acid in this process. So, remember I tried to talk about this, I briefly talked about it to say actually the nitrogen, uh, 
this nitrogen dioxide is converted to nitrogen monoxide, I mean to nitric acid, by reacting it, by reacting it with water. Okay? If you do not want to use this, you can say by absorbing nitrogen monoxide in water or by absorbing it in water. This is the answer. You can use either this or this. You will still get uh, a mark out of that. And uh, we go to question 3F. Question 3F says, explain why the concentration of nitric acid cannot be made more than 68% even if it is distilled. Remember that aspect where I was talking about the azeotropic, uh, azeotropic uh, behavior of nitric acid. And so we'll say because it forms an azeotrope, okay? It forms an azeotrope. That is the reason why it does not uh, go beyond 68%. Uh, if you want to write in a different way, you can say, because it forms a constant boiling mixture, because an azeotrope is a constant boiling mixture. If you feel that one is not comfortable, you may go with this one, which says because the solution of nitric acid boils without change in concentration. This gives you a mark if you were to write any of this. We move on to the next question, which is question uh, G. Explain why higher concentration. Explain why higher concentrations of nitric acid can only be obtained if it is mixed with concentrated sulfuric acid. Now, if there is no sulfuric acid, remember we said that you can also use magnesium nitrate. So, why is it that higher concentration can only be obtained if the mixture is, used, is mixed with concentrated sulfuric acid. And the answer to that is that because sulfuric acid or magnesium nitrate is a strong dehydrating agent. So that is basically the answer to that question. Now we move on to the next question, which talks about the, the uses, give two uses of nitric acid. And uh, there are so many uses. One of them is that nitric acid is used in the manufacture of fertilizers. Nitric acid is used in the manufacture of explosive, purification of metals, and so many other uses of nitric acid uh, can be cited here. But you can choose any of those. And uh, I hope this video was helpful. Thank you.